Heidi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate. When we left off, we killed uh, a skeleton that gave us some pretty fat loot. I, I, I'm assuming it's pretty fat loot. I'm going to check what kind of loot it is now, and also check on its fatness. Uh, ooh. Magic mace. That's never a bad sign. Let's just take these rings, too. Why not? Um... Also, turning off Steam doesn't seem to have alleviated the frame rate much, but uh, we will make do. Let's see if anybody can... I think it's just a plus one flail, um, but I still want somebody to identify it. Maybe she can with her lore. Does she have enough lore to identify it? Yes, it's a flail plus one. I'm going to go ahead and just give this to Minsk for now. I know he's not the best with uh, these kind of weapons, but... Seeing as his, um, his sword is broken, because it is of one of those unmagical varieties, um, and is thus susceptible to... Okay. I think I need to turn up the volume. One second. That's about where I want to be. Sorry about that. Oh, married couples. Anyway, let's move a little forward, I suppose. Um, but, but yeah, um, Minsk's weapon, uh, non-magical weapons are subject to destruction because of the iron hoopla going on. And therefore, as you can see, Minsk's uh, weapon broke. Now, I think the entrance to the dungeon is up this way. Make sure we're prepared to see if more, any more skeletons come this way, because I remember them coming from that direction before. Um, and then we reloaded the game, so yeah. Um, I did find my my mouse and the uh, the receiver for it, um, but it doesn't seem to be working. So if anything, I will purchase a new mouse, or find another mouse to use that for right now. We're going to fight some ghouls. Oh yeah. Yes, indeed. With your longsword plus two. Probably should have healed now that I think about it, but um, uh, hopefully everything will be all right. I'm optimistic. And I'll re-equip your bow. And I guess attack the same one that Dinah here is attacking. Okay. I miss Korax. <laughs> anyway, uh, you probably should have rested because I'm almost out of magic missiles. Now I am out of magic missiles, but I'm fairly sure we'll be fine. Usually monsters like this are harder than you remember. Or easier than you remember them being. You're all attacking different ones. Okay. So Rado is attacking this one over here. Now he's not, because it's dead. Just have to cope with the, uh... I'm fairly sure a lot of this frame skipping isn't actually, uh, isn't actually occurring on... in the recording. But it certainly is on my screen. Alright. Let us... Resituate ourselves here. I'm do like this. Hopefully, nothing's gonna come up from here and attack me. Should probably keep an eye on that. But uh, let's loot. See what fat loot we can get. After we kill skeletons, which are coming from this way, apparently. Just making sure Dinah here is equipped with. Okay. She's equipped with a ranged weapon, so she's not going to go up and attack it. Or anything silly like that. Oh, more Skellerans. Oh, uh, where's my cursor? There it is. <laughs> the choppiness has gotten to me. No, not just Dinah here. Everybody. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. 
Um, down here going around that way is a bad idea. There's a skeleton. Okay. Here's what I'll do. Rado, attack him. Well, you've been attacking him, so it's fine. So it's nothing that you haven't been doing. Minsk, go protect Dinah here, I guess. Um, Khalid, take on this one here. MON, stay there. Pilt up this one, I suppose. Uh, Jahira, take the same one as Khalid. Dinah here, back off. Again, I really need to get back into the control and everything. Uh, we're just wiping the floor of the skeletons. So, uh, it's all good. Uh, we're, yeah, we're all done over here now, I suppose. I don't think they have anything good on them anyway. No, just darts and morning stars and stuff we don't need. Okay. Do -do -do. I meant to be going into the uh, the dungeon here today, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. It's like the opposite of what happened yesterday. Yeah, I know this is a late update, too. I just hadn't had a chance to record until now, but... Uh, yesterday, in Dragon Warrior, I did a bunch of stuff that... Um, that I thought was going to take a lot, short, a lot longer than it did, but it didn't. It ended up not taking up any of the video, and I just padded it out with random encounters, and this, I'm trying to do something, and it's a bunch of stuff happening outside. <laughs> 29 gold. I won't not take gold. You have a ring we can sell. When we get to Baldur's Gate 2 eventually, we're gonna have, uh... Is it shift is... Uh, I'm probably not gonna use that. It's gonna be nice when we get like ring, like little bags and stuff. Is that it's invisibility? I think detect invisibility. We'll hold on to that for now. In fact, great, this inventory is full. So we we'll probably give that to give these scrolls to Dinah here. See if we can't learn them later, because right, I, I can't be bothered to learn right now. I need to do something about this frame rate lag. Let me check something. Okay, no, it's not doing a virus scan again like it did with Pokemon. <laughs> that would be, um, that would be silly. Because I would have let the same thing happen twice. And, uh, I don't want the same thing to happen twice. We seem to be close to the entrance of the dungeon. I think it's right around here. We should be nearing it. There should be a doorway in some place. Maybe it's over here? I think that's it right there. Is that it? Looks to be. That'd be it. Awesome. Before we go in, obviously, we're going to take some precautions and, you know, rest and everything. Because, um, if we don't do that, we'll probably die. And, uh, we'll have to start the where, from where the video began. And, um, that wouldn't be very fun at all, uh, if you ask me. Okay, so let's quick save it here. And, uh, save it. Thank you. And let us take a rest. I'm going to, I guess, pause the video here. Unless it only takes one rest, then then we'll be fine. But um, if it takes more than one rest, I will pause it. So we'll see what happens. Well, I guess it just happened. Okay. Uh... Let's go ahead and make a proper save here. Um, what's the next one down from? Okay, mines. Yeah, we're not in the mines anymore. We can just do this. Uh, do 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 do. I'll just call it Old Caster. So that's the name of the dungeon. I guess I'll just leave those ones at the bottom for like if you know for stuff like this, and then. My regular LP video saves will go above them. Alrighty. Notice how we rested, but Dinah here didn't heal. I think if 
forgot that I don't think that necessarily heals that way, but let's go uh, searching for traps. Like we did in the mines. Oh, no, that's not, that's not the one. It's this one here. That's what we want. Okay. Hopefully the game doesn't bug out on me. Or... Thank you, Dinah here. Rado, please move so anyone can get by. If that's possible. Minsk. You can't move. Okay. Rado, Misk, or risk getting hit by a trap and move up right next to Minsk here. I guess walk a moonwalk if you want to. It's uh, your prerogative, I suppose. Okay. Traps? Come on. Hello, cat. Cat wants to pass the computer. She wants to go out. Give me one second. Okay. Um. Let's see, it's this way. Okay, let's move the rest of the team down. We're gonna be uber duper cautious here. And. Yeah, hopefully some stupid crap doesn't ambush us or anything. This is made a little harder by the fact that we don't have a lot of awesome frame rate, as well as the fact that I'm using a touchpad. But I think we'll be fine in the long run. Okay, so there were no traps in here. Move thusly. Be careful, you guys in the back. Knowing my luck, some ochre jelly or something will show up. Or a dragon. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think there are any dragons in this game. Maybe some wyverns, but not dragons. Uh, do do do. Okay. There's a, a rat doing a dance over there. Probably because of the, uh,. It's a bat, actually. Just kind of flitting about. He can do that. He's a bat. That's the kind of thing the bats do. Besides, they, they do hang upside down sometimes, too. <laughs> yeah, I've been not even back into Baldur's Gate for one part, and I'm already thinking of things to do for the future in my LPing stuff, which is what I often do, and then I talk about it for a long time, but I may be doing uh, Elder Scrolls games in the future. In fact, all five of the main games, plus any expansions. Um, I, f I knew that Arena was um, downloadable, and I hope to try that soon, and uh, hopefully not get horribly maimed all the time. Uh, Daggerfall, I actually, I actually found out recently, was also free to download. Uh, I went ahead and got Morrowind off of Steam, uh, so we would be playing that on the PC as well, and then I have Oblivion and Skyrim on the Xbox. Uh, so, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll just kind of, once we're done with Baldur's Gate, I'll probably start Arena, and then we'll probably go to Baldur's Gate 2 after Arena's done. Um, maybe we'll do some of the other games on the, on the D&D Anthology series, basically alternate between that and Elder Scrolls, so, uh, that'll, you know, give me a, a few years worth of content there. I just gotta figure out what to do with the rest of them. I wanna get back into Zelda and stuff like that. Uh, 15 minutes, but we could, we can do some more, I guess. We haven't really done much in the dungeon. You know, I'll go to 20 minutes, why not? I can do that. No, we're going to go to 20 minutes, Rado. We don't need to make it quick. Besides, I want to, you know, do as much stuff as I can. So we're going to make a 20-minute video today if we, if, if, if I so choose. And I believe we, will, we shall be doing that this time. And I, I normally... The hell? You can have your pillow talk later. Now is not the time, okay? There don't seem to be a lot of traps. 
Knowing my luck, 50 fireball traps are probably in front of me now, but... I could have sworn there were a lot more uh, monsters here. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's been a long time. Well, it's been a long time since I, you know, started this LP, let alone the last time I played it, which was, you know, almost ten years ago, actually, now that I think about it. When I, I, went, when I went through the game, I technically didn't finish it, because I never finished the Tales of the Sword Coast stuff. Basically what I did was I just played through the, the main game, and then installed Tales of the Sword Coast later. Um... But I never finished the Tales of the Sword Coast stuff. Uh, I did finish the main story, though. So I guess I have technically beaten the game, just I haven't gotten through the bonus content, which we will be doing here in this playthrough. I just can't guarantee we're going to see it for a while. Because <laughs> this game is pretty long. Especially with all this side stuff that we're doing. But we are a fa fairly good ways into the story, at the very least, so that's not too bad. I want something to happen. That's what I want. I want to find some treasure. I want to... Oh. Remember when I mentioned ochre jellies earlier? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, hopefully we won't get absolutely murdered by the ochre jelly. We should re-equip magic missiles there. I'm just going to go ahead and use this wand. I'll use the wand on the, on the ochre jelly down here. That's what we want to happen. Hopefully with this having, with, with my, uh, with my sword having frost damage on it, it'll... Oh yeah, that'll do nicely. It doesn't have magic resistance, but... Magic weapons can hurt it. Oh, and the magic resistance was for... I guess the uh, I guess the magic missile didn't work. I guess that's fine. Well, knowing that there was one ochre jelly, there can't be another one far behind. That's usually how these things work. Mustard jelly. Uh-oh. Where are you? Near some loot. See? Stuff happened. And I am thankful for that. And I think there there is other... Where, where are you guys going? Why is your pathfinding not being good? You're going to get ambushed by something horrible. Oh, and, and you're like the squishies back there, just wandering around the hallways while the three tanks are up front, fighting this mustard jelly. You don't know if stuff's going to attack you. You just made a silly decision. But Khalid and Dinah here both leveled up. So that's never a bad thing. Alright, so let's move out into this room here. Give us some room so that we can get the loot. Where did the loot go? There it is. Uh, Minsk, you're up. What do we got here? We got... Uh, vanilla longsword, vanilla chain mail, or is that splint mail? I think that's splint mail. An unidentified scroll, which I'll take, and a gem, which isn't bad, I suppose. There are so many places I would rather be. I'll actually get rid of this broken sword, because that is, I don't even know why I kept that, that is useless to us. And before we go, I will level up our two recent leveled characters. Um, it would be a good idea to pause it, too. Can we can level up in peace. Alright, so... Level up. Uh, you don't get any more skill point, proficiency points or anything, so that's good for you. You're a level 5 fighter now. And Dyna here. You don't get any either, but you do get some new spells, I wager. You're a level 5 invoker. Which is just a fancy word for mage that... can't use certain types of spells. Mage book. Oh, you got two more slots. That's nice. Um, do another color spray. Identify. Even though I use, you know, magic missile most of the time, but still. Any new second level spells? No. Ooh, we're going third level spells now. 
lightning bolt, please. I don't think we would even be able to learn fourth level spells yet. Okay, so that's going to be the video for today. Well, 21 minutes, not too bad. Well, at least according to Audacity here. And uh, when we return, we'll explore more of the Oldcaster dungeon. I've been Rado Gochi, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?